So I'm going to show you the best way to draw a prokaryotic cell. Um, as an example, I'm going to um, draw a bacterium. Um, a bacterium is a typical example of a prokaryotic cell. And I'm starting off by drawing the cell membrane. The cell membrane is just a thin layer that surrounds the cell and it controls what comes in and out of the cell. So I'll call that cell membrane. Um, now, surrounding the cell membrane, there's normally a cell wall. Um, you can draw the cell wall just by drawing a layer around the cell membrane like this. Now, try and be accurate when you do your drawings. Don't, for example, come and just um, make a little gap because you want to finish it off quickly. Try and be accurate that when you join up the two lines like this. The cell membrane is really thin, so we just use a single line to represent it, but the cell wall um, is thicker. So in this case, we say, well, this whole part here is the cell wall. Um, Okay, um, within the cell membrane, or so within the cell membrane, the main liquid within the cell that contains lots of other things is the cytoplasm. Um, so the cytoplasm, it's like a jelly, um, sort of thick liquid um, within the cell where all the chemical reactions and, uh, and things are happening. Um, I should have mentioned earlier the cell wall um, is it's kind of a, um, a, a sort of a network like this that gives the cell a rigid shape. There's often a misconception that the cell wall like, protects the cell or controls what goes in or out. It doesn't. That's what the cell membrane does. The cell wall um, gives the cell rigidity and gives it that um, sort of helps it maintain its shape. Now, um, inside the um, uh, the middle of the cytoplasm, we normally draw an area called the nucleoid. A prokaryotic cell doesn't have a nucleus, but it does have DNA. And it normally has a, um, a sort of a loop, a, cr a single chromosome um, that does form a loop. So you make sure that when you draw it, that it's completely joined at both ends. Um, so this is DNA. Um, we can call it the um, chromosome. Um, but when you're looking at a, a bacterial cell, even with an electron microscope, but especially with a light microscope, you're not going to see the actual DNA. But what you normally do see is a region where the coloration is different, like this. Okay, where it's just got a different color. And that region we call the nuclei... Um, nucle I'm just going to get this right. Nucleoid region. Um, that's not the only DNA. There might be um, other DNA. Um, they're like little chromosomes like this, also in a loop shape. Um, and these are called plasmids. I'm just going to draw one. Not all prokaryotic cells have a plasmid. Um, some might have one, some might have um, many. Um, also dotted around the cytoplasm, which normally have a bit of a sort of grainy appearance, are ribosomes. Uh, in bacteria, we call these 70S ribosomes. The 70S just represents the, um, the size of it. 70S ribosome. Here and there it is, and the function of that ribosome um, is to synthesize proteins. Um, I should have mentioned maybe also so that the function of the plasmid is that it contains some genes that and bacteria, some bacteria are able to transfer plasmids one to another, as in from one bacterium to another. Okay, some bacteria will also have a, a long tail like structure called a flagellum. Some of them have many flagella, a 
I'm just going to draw one flagellum. Um, now the flagella starts off connected to the um, cell membrane like this. And it's a long sort of tail-like structure. Like this. It goes through the cell wall and connects to the um, cell membrane there. That is a flagellum like this. Now, I'm doing this on a whiteboard, but when you draw your labels, um, you really should use a ruler. You should be using a pencil to draw your diagram. Um, and the, um, the line, it doesn't need to have an arrowhead on it, but it should touch the object that it's referring to. Um, so, for example, what you should not do is like an arrow pointing to it like this, or um, a line that ends near to but not touching the sh object. It should... Um, touch the object that it's referring to. Um, other structures that um, the bacteria might have um, are like little sort of hairs like this. I'm only going to draw a few because it'll take me too long to draw them all. Okay, and these are called pili. Okay, pili is uh, many of them. Um, a single one would be a pilus. This marks the end of period A3. Um, so that's everything you need in terms of drawing a prokaryotic cell. Again, this is a bacterial cell as an example of a prokaryotic cell. Um, even bacteria could come in many different shapes and sizes, but this is just a, um, a simple one. Um, Thank you.